What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video. And today we're out here in beautiful Colorado, out here in the middle of nowhere, ripping on some beautiful terrain. And it's rocky and it's really, really technical, guys. So this little section right here is full of mountain bikers and it is really, I mean, it is, this stuff's pretty extreme. Um, on this wheel, it is an area where I would like to have the S18 precisely and the suspension is perfect in this little area right here guys if you if you want to really get the best out of the s18 this is where it would shine and the v11 wouldn't really be the best here because those cylinders come down and you might be able to clip on rocks so every wheel has its its um you know its shining point and right here is where you know i've rode all the wheels there is and you know i'm not really going full speed and using every bit of that msx 100 volt power so i would really like that s18 you know and then i drove to this spot so i didn't use all that battery getting here and so the s18 would have been the absolute perfect wheel in this situation but i am on this wheel just because i don't have that one anymore um but uh not saying that i wouldn't ride it in this situation you know because a lot of people have that wheel and then I, I i told a lot of people hey this is a great wheel get it and then they don't see me riding it now so um i just needed needed to say that uh coming up right here guys this is absolutely hilarious so this fella um you'll see him this is this mountain biker coming around this corner uh i had no idea so i looked back at the footage and this guy actually went through the hardest part of this entire section. He made a backtrack through it. And he was coming up the hill to come yell and say something. And I ended up just passing by. Or, I mean, I was leaving at that point. And he was just so out of breath, he couldn't even make the point to yell at me whenever he got to the top of the hill. So you'll see him coming up here in a minute. Um, I just kind of come by him and he yells something, yada, yada, unicycle, something. I'll turn it all the way up so y'all can try to make out what he, what he says. But I couldn't tell what the guy says at all. So I just, you know, I just kept it moving. That's the best thing to do. I always say that, you know, don't even stop for these people. Don't give them the lie today. Just keep it moving. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not hurting. Just listen. I, I don't know what he said. I had something about a unicycle or something, so I'll turn it up. If y'all can, if y'all know what he said, leave it in the comments. But anyways, I just was killing it through this section right here, and this is a little hangout spot. Mountain bikers chill at whatnot. I couldn't get up that little rock. My line was terrible right there. But he came up, man. I just pushed, was pushing the unicycle up that little section, and he came up behind me. And looking at the editing and whatnot, he was about to come up and yell something, but he was just so out of breath that he he couldn't do it and then up, i took off down the trail you see that immediately afterwards and i look back at the footage i'm like is that the same guy and it's sure enough it was if you look it's the blue water bottle and then the purple shirt that guy backtracked all the way up that the steepest part of the section wore himself out so bad that he couldn't yell at me once he got to the top so i thought that was pretty funny i thought that was great whenever i look back at it because i when i passed him he said something you know derogatory about a unicycle as they always do you know um so that's just, this is the way it goes guys and it's just like you know you kill it on these i love it man like that's one of the funniest things whenever i first started my instagram dude, i had one of my buddies he's just like i always used to play xbox with him he's just like i find it hilarious you try to make these things look cool and i'm like i'm thinking of my whole time in my head the whole time i'm like i never thought they didn't you know like i never thought they didn't look cool you know so that was just my whole perspective on it and you know it's just like yeah i guess it to some people it might look lame immediately coming off of it but after you've been riding it for five years and you know how much fun it is and you know the adventures you've had the people you've met and the the good times and whatnot man it's just like you don't even your perspective of it is just the coolest most fun thing in the world you know this like thing's been life-changing for me you know it's been like one of those things that um i i had terrible like depression just because i didn't get outdoors i'm telling you guys the outdoors is therapy man and it should be marketed by these doctors nowadays you know they're prescribing all this medicine for people i'm telling you you need an electric unicycle and a trip outdoors and on a mountain bike trail and you know that's the one thing that, that's why you don't i don't care what you're doing outside i don't care if you're um doing yoga out in the park i don't care if you're you know you're doing a 
Ironman run, if you're swimming, I don't care what it is. If you're just getting outside, enjoying the day, falling around in the dirt a little bit, you know, that is what matters, man. I'm telling you. Um, I, it, it hurts me, man, seeing some of my friends that just, you know, they're the, the first thing is their doctors prescribe them some medicine, you know. And it's that's not the answer for stuff like that, man. The answer is getting outdoors and finding something, whether it be riding a unicycle, a bicycle, a skateboard, whether it be flying a kite, whatever the hell it is that makes makes you, you know, come home at the end of the day and say, damn, you know, that was a good day. That's what matters, you know. And for me, it's this. And, you know, and for a little while there, I really didn't have something, you know, and it's really hard with a, a busy schedule to do some of those uh, high maintenance hobbies, you know, like riding a dirt bike, you know, I, it's just, you gotta change the oil every time you get done riding, you gotta change the air filter, you know, it's a whole process of having a place to lock it up, especially in an apartment building, you gotta, there's not even a hose where I live at now that I can really use to wash it, you know, so s something like this is just absolutely perfect for a lot of people out there that are living in apartment buildings and don't really have access to, you know, a, sh a full on bike shop, they don't really have access everything man you can do every every bit of maintenance you need to right in your living room with one of these things you know you'll get the tools over time and I'll do a series coming up guys of some cheap uh, workbenches and some cheap tools that you can get in order to b build your own little workshop and you can have something that folds away and sticks under a couch that's everything you need to work on these things and that's the beauty of these things guys so I think anybody can really get into these things and then personally maintain them forever, you know. Once you learn, it, it's really simple. It's a motor, batteries, a control board. It's like an RC car, you know, and it's super simple to work with. And that's the beauty of these things, you know. I really love them. Simple for a lot of people. You can get all the latest electric unicycles linked right below, guys. E-Wheels is where you want to go for all of the United States customer base and for all of you guys everywhere else in the world, E-Rides. Both are right below, both are affiliate links, and with the E-Rides, use code CHOOCH5 and you can get a discount on your purchase. And also, down below, I'm a proud member of the Lazy Rolling team and all the armor jackets that I'm wearing, you can get a 20% discount using code CHOOCH at LazyRolling.com. Thank you guys, I'll see you on the next one.